Welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and this is Amy Marie Art. On today's video, I am going to be painting Marcel, the little monkey with the train driver's hat. So come along with me and see this cute little guy come together. Let's get to it. Here we go, starting off Marcel with a base coat of raw sienna. I'm putting this down everywhere where there's going to be fur. So on the neck, on the head, but not on the face or the ears. We're only a couple of minutes in and again, I'm changing my mind. You know I'm gonna do it. I've decided to make the base coat a little bit darker to add more contrast between the undercoat, which this is, and the individual fur strokes. I do need to go in with a second layer to the base coat. So when I'm doing this one, you can see that I've added in darker, more opaque areas where the shadows will fall. And then I've kind of thinned out the paint for any of the lighter areas, just to give that variation in tone. Even though there will be fur strokes over the top of it, you will get a sense of depth if you put this in now. Now I base coated Marcel's face and ears off camera. I'm trying to make these videos just a little bit shorter because I know that when it comes to base coating, it's kind of the boring part. So I know myself, I normally fast forward through videos. Um, so I'm hoping that by doing this, you get to see all the good bits and none of the boring stuff. And I do end up actually changing the skin tone on Marcel. Um, I kind of envisioned this translucent pinkish toned skin for him. So when I took a step back, it really wasn't what I was hoping for. I do finish off the first coat just so that it will remain even, but I move on to the fur while I have a think about what I'm gonna do. I move on with my filbert brush to add the first layer of fur. There will be about two or three layers. So this one, I'm just kind of mapping out the direction of the fur, even though this one's kind of easy. He just has a long neck, it's straight. All the fur on the neck goes in the same direction, bar a few bits on his head, which will vary. I'm also varying the thickness of the paint. It's a little watered down in some areas where it's a bit shadowed and a little bit thicker in the highlight areas. Don't wanna get any fur on the wall, so I mask it up with blue painter's tape, just in case. I'm using a fine brush to do the fur on his head and the close part of the neck. This helps get a sense of depth, especially when there's a long neck like this. The closer the fur, to the viewer, the more defined and more detailed. And now you can see the further away, I've swapped back to my filbert brush to soften off those fur pieces and kind of give the illusion that it's a little bit more out of focus and therefore further away. Right now it's pretty obvious where we've used a fine brush and where we've used the softer filbert brush. To make it less obvious, I'm bringing in the filbert brush into those closer areas. This helps soften the transition between the two different types of brush strokes, allowing it to look more natural and enhances that sense of depth. Now I'm going to put a series of thin glazes over the top of the fur. Glazing allows us to change the color of the fur strokes that we've already put down without having to repaint each individual one again. And as you can see here, it's awesome for shadows. I'm glazing the deepest shadows in with a burnt umber mixed in with a little bit of black. I love how glazing really does change the shape and form of what you're painting. This monkey is really starting to look 3D now. I'm swapping back and forth between the medium brown and the dark brown with a few highlights along the way. It was during this glazing that I had the light bulb moment of how I wanted to tackle Marcel's face. I'm base coating his face with some purple and pink tones. Dark purple under his chin and in his eyes and the dark crevices of his ears and using a pale pink for any highlights. 
I also decided to close Marcel's mouth. The open mouth smile just looked a little bit creepy. And now to get rid of the other creepiness, the base coat that's in red and pink. I'm using that original skin tone and putting over a fairly thin glaze over the top. This kind of gives that translucent look that I was hoping for earlier. The pinks and the purples are still there, but not too bright. Having them under the glaze really does make it look like it's under the skin. Because I closed the mouth, the proportions of his muzzle wasn't quite right, so I am making it a little bit wider and adding in a few more shadows. And because I've used the same purple and pink from earlier, I am then going to go over with another very light glaze just to dull that down. I added in a few more shadows using a mix of burnt umber and black. And it's just about time for my favourite part, painting the eyes. Marcel is a very friendly monkey, so I've done his eyes extra large to add in that cute, friendly touch. I wanted Marcel to be looking back at his passenger, the night mouse. So I paint his pupils in the top left hand corner. Followed with a damp, flat brush with just a bit of black in the corner for a shadow. And some white to add in that little sparkly highlight. I base coat his hat in a mix of medium blue and dark blue, adding in the shadows and the highlights as I go. The final finishing touches, adding in some piping on the hat and the stitches and some leather bands. A few gold studs and a metal plate, some light blue dry brushing for the highlights and black dry brushing for the shadows. And Marcel is done. And that is today's video all wrapped up. I hope you enjoyed little Marcel the monkey as much as I did. I will be back soon with another video where I'm going to be working on the mice. There's one here walking on a tightrope, one here riding Marcel, and another one here flying down on an umbrella. And again, thank you for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Catch ya! Mm -hmm.